46-year-old Jonathan Lewin will spend five years in prison for possessing and distributing child pornography, followed by 12 years of supervised release. Lewin will also have to register as a child sex offender. According to federal court documents, Lewin admitted he received child porn from a file-sharing network and that he made child porn publicly available to other users. The investigation began in May 2014 after an undercover officer downloaded several files that Lewin publicly shared over the Internet, items depicting sexually explicit images of new children. Officers executing a search warrant at Lewin's home recovered thousands of images of child porn, including pictures downloaded by the undercover officer. Evidence collected includes an external hard drive, two thumb drives, a tablet computer, a desktop computer, and several cloud accounts. Court records indicate a forensic exam uncovered evidence that Lewin used his cell phone camera to take hundreds of voyeuristic images of young girls. Documents indicate he did this in public places, like the zoo, grocery stores, and parks. Investigators say Lewin added sexually explicit text banners to some of those images. According to a federal court officer, the voyeurism photos prompted prosecutors to seek a longer sentence, arguing this makes Lewin a risk for recidivism. A court officer says the judge stated he believed Lewin deserved a lesser sentence, but couldn't impose one because of sentencing guidelines. Lewin did odd jobs for the near Tamid synagogue when authorities arrested him in 2014. At the time, the congregation's rabbi and its Montessori school president sent a letter to congregants and parents. It says in part, Authorities have assured us they do not believe that the safety of our children was at any point compromised. Lewin's father emailed us saying in part, our son was overmedicated by a prescribed drug which induced him to abnormal behavior during one three-week period. He adds, our son did wrong. Our son is a good person. He made a terrible mistake and for reasons understood, if not spoken, he reacted badly to a drug prescribed to him. Reporting live from the studio, David Collins, WBAL-TV 11 News. Uh, David, thank